Are you running out of space in your Lego room? Do you get sick and tired of all these massive Star Wars ships coming out? And do you want to have some smaller ones you can actually fit on your shelves? Well, I might have the answer for you. Hello there today. We are taking a look again at the gunship. There are plenty more videos of the gunship, don't you worry. Plenty of content here on the channel. And today we are turning it into a battle pack, which is much smaller. But we'll get to that in a second and have a nice little close up as we approach May 4th. There is not only so many sets coming out, so many Star Wars specials. In fact, you can even pick some up right now at the end of April, which is very, very nice. So definitely keep your eye out for all the sales that have already started. But I did also say that if we manage to hit a thousand subs, I don't know why I sound so sad. We're so close to a thousand subs. If we do manage to hit a thousand subs before May 4th, and I don't mean by midnight May 3rd, just generally around the morning of May 4th, I will be picking up Keller and Beck speeder bike. You've probably already seen my video on why I really don't want to pick it up. So if you want to force me to buy a Lego Star Wars set, which honestly I never thought would have to happen, then definitely hit the subscribe button. Make sure you are subscribed so you can be one of the first thousand subscribers on the channel. Anyway, let's take a look at the Battle Pack gunship. So the gunship in question actually has five minifigures and four of them have posable legs, which means they are very, very easy to sit on a smaller ship or shuttle. I'm afraid Palpatine here with his brand new hairpiece does have this dress piece, which I do really, really like, especially when it comes to Palpatine or anyone wearing robes or even the Kaminoans look really good. And even Dumbledore over in Harry Potter, I'm a big fan of all the printing that he gets. But it means that Palpatine will not be included in today's video, or at least not in the battle pack. I guess he gets his five seconds in spotlight now, but now he is gone for the rest of the video as we will be shifting our focus to this battle pack sized gunship. It only uses 72 pieces of the original gunship and of them pieces. The only uncommon ones that I've had to actually steal from the gunship are these dark red 2x3 slopes on the back of the ship. The rest of them I've had in my part collection. Now, that does tend to happen quite often when you've collected Lego for over 15 years and you tend to have so many different pieces. But it's surprising how few sets these slopes have actually come in, especially when they're used for a few different Republic colours. But I guess we don't normally get too many dark red sets. They are also available in the Ahsoka shuttle. So if you already have that set, you could probably find the go over to Rebrickable, purchase the instructions for this model and you've probably got most of the pieces to hand. You don't even have to purchase the instructions to check. Rebrickable has its own page where you can see all of the pieces you will need for this set. Now, we do have four minifigures here. It would be nice, of course, if LEGO was to make an official gunship to first off have it looking like this compared to the older battle pack that I will add on to the left. That was actually, that was a Jedi and clone battle pack that has come up so often on this channel. But that gunship was a bit poor. I would have preferred to got a few bigger bricks and especially with a new 20 to 25 price range, we'd definitely get a gunship like this. You can see all the other characters are on the back. There weren't any space to sit them in the middle. Actually, the pilot's got a really cool feature because it looks like the pilot sat in the front and you might have to remove bricks to get him out. But nope, the pilot is actually stood up in a one by two gap, hopefully my phone can focus there you go you do have a chair rising up out of that middle bit but the minifigure you choose to display in the pilot seat actually just stands up on a one by two brick right at the bottom and that does go through to the very bottom of the ship this is the plate that the trooper stands on and i think that's just really really cool now you can see fox has his new visor and is leading the team up here with the other clone, which you can definitely whack at the front because there is a second control panel piece just in there for the, I guess, co-pilot. If anything happens to the pilot, Fox can just take over here. Perhaps the trooper should be switched. And we do have Padme at the back, an amazing minifigure. My favourite from the set because, well, we already got two Coruscant guards in the battle pack. Actually, someone did point out, I think I referred to him as 212th at some point in the video, which... Honestly, I'm just calling everything 212. You have no idea how many times I referred to the 332nd as 212 when I was reviewing that speeder. And 
I'm just calling every clone 212. So if you do hear that, I'm sorry that's made it to the video, but just try it to ignore me. I don't know what I'm talking about half the time. But these are Coruscant guards. I don't know if I've done it earlier in this video. That would be very, very embarrassing. But Padme is definitely the best figure out of them. I'm enjoying getting all the different Padme costumes, even though this isn't technically a new one. We got a Clone Wars style Padme. Well, this is Clone Wars style Padme. We got one of the figures with the Clone Wars faces, the funny different design a while back when they were still doing them. And I'm pretty sure we got this outfit. But I would love to see some more of Padme, especially in some Revenge of the Sith sets next year for the anniversary. But this set is so fun. We've got the stud shooters on the side, of course. Battle pack, you've got to have that sort of play feature where you can fly it into battle. It's a bit more manageable to swoosh around past all the other ships and it just looks really cool on display with any other Chibi Scout ships. Now, what is Chibi Scout? Well, on the left, you can see a few other ships that aren't quite micro scale, but they're also not quite playset scale, let alone minifigure scale. Playset scale is just something I call all the ships that Lego release are not quite minifigure scale, but you know, they're still pretty large. So Chibi Scout has seen Boba Fett Starship. That's the most iconic one that I remember. And there's probably a few others like the Y-Wing from the recent Yavin set, which is still on sale. And that is the sort of scale this is in. It's not micro scale. You can fit a minifigure in the cockpit here and it still holds up pretty well. I guess Chibi Scale truly would be able to fit at least one minifigure in the back here. But it is at that Chibi Scale of ships. So I quite like this. I definitely want to take another look at that Yavin set for the Y-Wing because this could look nice on a shelf because you wouldn't need any space for big ships to overtake shelf space. And once again, the gunship is a prime example of this, taking up pretty much half of the shelf just by itself. And I've had to squeeze some other ships under the wing. But pulling down the gunship, you can get a size comparison of just how big this Chibi Scout gunship is. I mean, it's so cute. You've probably seen my initial reactions in the thumbnail because I think this is just a great scale of ship that Lego hasn't fully explored yet. We can get so many other Chibi. I mean, imagine a Chibi Scout Veneta with a little micro. I guess that's still more of a playset, but Lego can definitely do a few more of that scale of sets. And it's definitely another scale alongside minifigure scale that I will be exploring a lot in the future. So I cannot wait to take on a few more. Do let me know if you think this does make a good Lego battle pack, especially if we got Fox with three Coruscant Guard troopers by heading over to the community tab and just voting. It's a simple yes, no on the poll that I will have up at the same time of this video though. To be honest, I'm not opposed to getting more Padmes in a battle pack. In fact, screw it. Let's just have a Padme battle pack and get four different costumes with a wardrobe filled of other torsos and legs that represent the costumes she wears. So I've just wrapped up filming the video and I was uploading the instructions for the Chibi Scout Coruscant Guard onto Rubricable. You can see I have Studio up here and it looks more or less the same. I did notice that in the video when I built this because I didn't use the actual parts I had completely switched around the white and black clip colors. So these are meant to be white at the front and they're meant to be black just under the wing. But that is what I want to talk about just under here, because you can see that there are two of these shield pieces, and there's only actually one that come in the set. Now, taking a look at Studio, you can see I have the model here, and I'm trying to use my other hand, but you can see that we do still have the shield pieces under each of the wings. So I've gone and double checked and it was in the actual list of parts i think they call it a palette on here in fact i can show you if i click on both of these and delete that one you'll see that we, if we go to plates modified it should show up somewhere along here i don't exactly know where it was showing up but initially it was showing up and then I delete the other one and it deletes it. It seems to have fixed it, but that might be because when I've gone to a new tab and gone in plate modified, only one of them shows up. So I'm not sure if it was a mistake on my behalf or if Studio did indeed have two. Before I started recording, there were definitely two of them on this palette. So I don't know how you can add parts to the palette, but I'm sure 
that's probably what I've done. So I do have to workshop the wing. I'm not sure if I should just include that as an extra piece. Just so you know, if you do have any of them laying around, definitely use that to connect the wings. It is the easiest connection point and you can see that both of the wings are level and it does look really cool. So I'll probably just turn this alt build into a modification, but I am now going to try and figure something else out for the wing just for people that don't have that part. Of course, that part, I think we even get two of them in the new 2024 battle pack. So if you do not want to pick up the gunship that bad, but still want a chibi scale gunship, Grab yourself a battle pack and it will be all fine. But hopefully I'll have sorted that out. I'll leave the link for the rebrickable instructions down in the description. They are completely free. I mean, it's only 72 pieces. I'm not going to charge for that little of a build. So check them out even if you aren't interested in building them as it helps to promote my rebrickable. And I hope you enjoy. May the bricks be with you always.